Hi yeah, welcome to my channel or welcome back. Um, I thought today I would have a little look at my Spotify playlists and expose myself because I have questionable taste in music. That's not true. I, I don't believe in guilty pleasures. I don't think there's such a thing as a guilty pleasure because if you enjoy something, how can you feel guilty about it? Unless it's illegal, obviously, disclaimer. Um, but yeah, if you enjoy music, no matter how cheesy it is, no matter how many people look down on you because it's not cool and it's not trendy and it's not indie or whatever, then it, you can't feel guilty about it. Just fill yourself with the pleasures. Just enjoy it for, <laughs> for what it is. Um, but yeah, I, I like curating Spotify playlists and I normally do it by occasion. So like I have one for driving, I have one for when I'm working, one for when I'm doing like data work, which is like more focused kind of thing. Um, and then I have just random lists of songs that I really like. Um, so I thought I'd go through just a couple of my playlists and um, give you an insight into the chaos of musical genres that exist all the time in my head. Um, the first playlist, so my biggest playlist is called Driving. It's called Driving, right? Um, I'm gonna, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to play it on shuffle. I'm just going to play it on shuffle and um, see what songs come up. So, here we go. That, that is six. Six the musical. Have you ever seen Six the Musical? Oh my god, it's so good. It's like really short, it's not very long, and it's about the six wives of Henry VIII, but it's so good. Listen. I've been by your side. I've never lost control. Listen no to that. How many times I knew you Have my golden boo. I mean, I mean, like, I love a bit of musical theatre. It's no secret, I love a bit of musical theatre. Six, I went to see Six, changed my life. It's like, imagine a little mix, but in a musical, is what it's like. Oh, man, right. This is on shuffle, don't forget. Yes! Oh. Taylor Swift, Haunted, from Speaking Now. Haunted, one of the best Taylor Swift songs, honestly. When Haunted, Taylor's version is released, I'm going to lose my mind. Lose my mind. Right, next. More six. I love this song. I love this song so much. Right. Now, that's from Wicked. I promise you it's not just musical theatre. It's obviously in a little bit of a... A little bit of a campy mood today, the old Spotify. Um, I would like to just say that I listen to this playlist exclusively when I'm driving, exclusively on shuffle. And um, it, they're all songs that are intended to make me drive, not safer, but, but with like enjoyment. <laughs> like, you know, you want, I, when you, passengers in my car get a full one man show, it's a performance. It's something. More Wicked. This is a sad moment. The reason that's on there is for the when they start singing together. Ready? When you're driving very, very fast, it, you ascend, you ascend. The best time to listen to this, this song is when you're driving like 30 or 40, but you know you're coming up to a 60. And then if you can hit you hit that 60s sign just as they start to do that that part that I just played. It's magical. It feels like you're flying. It feels like you're flying. 3 a.m. and I'm still awake. I'll get you just fine. 3 a.m. and I'm... I promise it's not just musical theatre and Taylor Swift. I told you I was doing this to expose myself. Come on. Here we go. That's one of the best songs on Harry's House. I love it so much. Sat I love Satellite. It's like, my favourite Harry Styles song was Always Sweet Creature. Harry Styles' debut album like have a, has, still has a hold on my heart. But when Satellite came out, ugh, it, it changed me. Honestly, I'm not even joking. I love it. I'm going to see Harry Styles in June. I can't wait. He needs to play this song. I don't, I don't care what else he plays, as long as he plays Satellite. Uh, 
this was from my heart stopper obsession. Um, I hyperfixate on quite a lot, and heart stopper really took a hold of me. And I listened to this song so many times. Right, let's just do a little. I'm gonna do a little run of shuffle, um, just so you can kind of see how chaotic it is. Moana. <laughs> okay, okay. I see what's happening here. Moana. Oh, waitress. It is all musical theatre. Maybe, maybe it is all musicals. Start simple. When somebody told me I yes. Change, I to yes. Louis Tomlinson. This is another musical. Framed with trees, we pick a spot and shoot the breeze like buddies do. Dear Evan Hansen, again, that was another fixation of mine. I went to see it just before the Panny D. And, um, oh man, I cried. I cried from the very beginning, like when he sat on the bed. And um, he's like, Dear Evan Hansen, today is going to be a good day. And here's why. And I was like, oh, no. <laughs> I'm not even joking. And by the time his mother sings that song, um, So Big, So Small, I, I, I was blubbing. Like, I walked out of that theatre. It was humiliating. I also met the cast. They were all lovely. Gorgeous. Love it. Gorgeous. More Taylor Swift. It's a lot of Taylor Swift. There's so much more in it. Uh, uh, this is one of my favourite songs of all time, of all time. My favourite lyrics to any song ever, 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 ever. Ah, uh, uh, Joni Mitchell. Ah, oh, man, that song. That song did change my life, properly. The trouble with schools Wicked. TikTok. So good. Yeah. Fall in again, right? One of the most beautiful songs. I just love it. I love everything about it. I th I would like to say there is a lot more than just that on there. There's like Evanescence. There's One Direction, Queen. There's Meatloaf, Celine Dion, obviously. Adele, Zayn, Niall, Liam, all of them. Anyway, that's my driving playlist. So um, honestly, I think driving with me at the steering wheel, it's a really good time. I think it's a really, I think you just are guaranteed a good time. It's like a party, really, like a party. Um, this is the playlist that I work, I work with. Like, so when I'm doing really like heavily involved work that includes like data and Excel and I've got to sit there and really, really focus. Um, I decide, I make an exclusive decision, uh, executive decision, excuse, um, that I'm going to be sad. Some people like listen to heavy rock music and pop and they're like, yeah, let's get into it. I'm like, <laughs> let's get into it. Um, so here's my, here's my work playlist. <laughs> That's obviously a recent addition since I listened to Luke Hemmings' album for the first time. One of the saddest albums I've ever listened to in my life. I did a reaction video to it. Go check it out. Um, I, I've been obsessed with a couple of songs. Plays in me is one of them. Yes. And then... Ah. Uh, Matilda. Sweet Creature. I love this song so much. This is a choice. Um, it's Marjorie by Taylor Swift. This is a real choice because it's so sad. Never be so kind, you forget to be clever. Yeah. In the middle of a gunfight. My chemical romance. In the center of a restaurant. They say. Taylor Swift's best song. I don't think. Would have, could have, should have is my new favourite Taylor Swift song. Oh, just. So good. So good. Ah. 
Miley Cyrus, man. She's incredible. That performance with Dolly Parton is one of my favourite videos I've ever seen in my whole life. My whole life. Again, I've only recently started listening to the 1975. This is Robbers, isn't it? Um, <clears throat> that's a little snapshot of what I listen to when I work. It's sad, it's sad. There's also my current favourite Louis Tomlinson song. Just love this so much. So good. Common People by Louis Tomlinson is one of my favourite songs at the moment. Like, oh, one of my favourite songs. Ah, that really hurt. Um, I also, this is one of my more like, more mentally unwell moments. I've got a playlist of all of Taylor Swift's track fives for when I really, really want to have a bad day, apparently. Um, what other ones have I got? What other ones have I got? I've got a playlist. I don't know what this is from. And it just has Backcountry from Avenged Sevenfold, My Immortal by Evanescence, and Falling by Harry Styles. What, how, when did I do that? That's the most random playlist I've ever seen in my life. New Year's Eve quiz. We did a pub quiz in lockdown on New Year's Eve. It was like guess the intro kind of thing. See if you can guess the intro. You say I love you, boy. What's that one? What is it? What is it? Yeah, Many of Horror, Biffy Clyro. What a banger. This one's easy. I'm only going to give you that. What's that one? <laughs> Wonderwall, Oasis. Some things are long forgotten. Oh. This song, Want You Back by Haim, oh, that had such a hold on me when I, when I first heard it. It literally, I couldn't stop listening to it. Oh, this is a good one. <laughs> That's Lipstick by Jedward. Um, did some, I did some 90s classics too. That I need to know I've done wrong. And how long it's been going on. <laughs> um, and then another one, this is one of my favourite playlists, is um, when we got married, we did like orchestral versions of like 2000s emo music um, while people waited. So there was like Helena by My Chemical Romance. How beautiful is that, honestly? No one. Um, I write sins, not tragedies. Midnight String Quartet, this is by. What a beautiful way to the bridesmaid to the waiter. <laughs> Bring me to life. Yes. I love this. This is my favourite. This belongs in Bridgerton. Sophomore Slump or Come Back of the Year by Fall Out Boy. Honestly, that, I've, this is what we, um, this is, this is fun for you. This is what we walked into, not we. I didn't walk in, did I? My wife, this is what my wife walked into. Basket Case, orchestral version. Wow, well, not orchestral, but you know, piano version. And this is what we walked out to. Um, because we're both, we're both big fans. <laughs> and we did, we, we strolled, strutted, sashayed, chanted, 
down the runway. Um, it was great fun. Um, is that, am I done exposing myself? I think I am. I think I, oh no, I've got an emo throwback, emo throwback playlist, which starts with one of my favorite, most underrated songs. Oh, I'm so good. Oh. Oh my god. System of a down! This is like a throwback. I haven't listened to this playlist in so long. Also, one of my favourite covers of any song ever made, ever. Do you know what it is? It's 99 Red Balloons. It's this bit, right? This bit is the, is the bit of this song. Ready? Oh, I love it so much. Oh, I like that is the best song to listen to when you've got like the windows down, just the volume all the way up. Absolutely banger. What a banger. What a banger. Bit of yellow card. And obviously, how could you have an emo playlist without misery business? Oh, right, I feel very well and truly. I feel like I've just opened myself up to everybody. That was my version of having my heart on my sleeve is letting you into my Spotify playlists. Um, take from what you will. I mean, I don't think it's the playlist of somebody who's mentally well, do you? I think there's a lot of instability, 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 unstableness, wonkiness going on. <laughs> Um, but I like it. It's all music that I love. So um, let me know. Let me know what playlist you have. Everyone has a driving playlist. What's your like top few songs on your driving playlist? Let me know in the comments. And um, thanks for watching. And as always, I appreciate it. Um, yeah, don't forget to subscribe if you enjoyed this and give it a like and comment. Even share it. Share it to your nan. I don't know why. She might enjoy it. Um, but yeah, thanks very much. And I will see you soon. Love you. Bye.